Alright, well, two videos in one day isn't very common for me, however. I have been working on more than one thing, and I, well, I want to show off the other function that I've been working on as well. Now, we got the old one how here, and we're going to be actually running it, so I'm sure you can hear the loudness that is the fans of Glory keeping her cool. Now, I got her heated up, and that's because we we're going to be looking at something that includes the start G code. Now, I actually made a predecessor video to this, however, it never got put on, mainly because we couldn't get the video to sync up with the audio and now it is much more than it was in that video so I'll probably whenever the time comes just throw up some pictures on the screen of the actual start G code and I'll probably put it in the actual description now she is running hot I got her set for her ABS that's what I last was running through her so, you need to be safe. I got my safety stick here. Everybody, if you're doing this, make sure you have your safety sticks. Never leave home without it. And the start G code we're going to be talking about is for a simple and probably pretty dirty trick to add a new function to your printer. Now, if you're like me, you look at the... Uh, higher up dollar printers such as the Wolfsbot Mini and you go oh hey that's cool well one thing that the Mini has is it has a wiper on the back of it and every time before it prints it wipes the nozzle and I looked at that and I went hey that's pretty cool I think I can make that on my printer so I have done just that only I have done it in probably the cheapest way possible because I'm like that. Cheap printer, cheap solutions. Now, the way that this mainly works is you have to have a custom start G code so that the printer will know to actually go and run the nozzle through the wiper to clean off any material on the nozzle. Now, my wiper is quite small. I've tried to keep it as small as possible. And to my knowledge, most printers like this, like the rebrands, like the Maker Selects and stuff, all have the crucial component that is needed to attach the wiper. So, we will come back and I will show you the actual wiper. Alright, now we are back, and as you can see, this is the actual wiper. It's really small. I tried to make it non-intrusive because, well, it's taking up bed space, so you're not going to be, be able to print to your full extent with a wiper. That's why I tried to make it smaller. Now, the bed's heated up, so I don't want to touch it. However, as you can see, i got a screw here that runs through the actual heating plate and that is what's crucial is these heating plates have a hole in the back of them even if it's covered in the stock build tack like material there should be a hole back here if you're using like a one how or maker select you just need to check and make sure that there's a hole here on the back of your heated bed plate and the easy way to do that is to just look underneath it if you have a build tech material on yours. Now I took mine off because well, the pet G ruined it and I'm using glass right now. Now if you know glass then you know that glass goes above the build surface. That heated build plate. All I did was I used two nuts on this screw to give it enough height to touch this and I recommend using a countersink screw so that way you don't have the head of the screw popping up to cause interference with anything that you might be, might be running now I'm using a 20 millimeter length 
screw. I got a bunch of them whenever I was replacing the stripped screw on the extruder level arm. And so I just popped one of those in there. And of course it's not running the whole 20 lengths down because of the glass. However, however, if you don't have glass, you just pop this on top of the build tack. You pop the hole through this heated build plate. You stick the screw through and you just take a nut and you just screw it up real tight. And the way this works is all this is is Velcro. It's not the uh, it's not the rough side. It's the soft fabricy side. I just got some of the um, adhesive kind and it is around it's around 50 by 10 this little strip is and I've picked adhesive so that way whenever this gets worn out you just peel it off and stick another one on now a good thing to note is the total height is around two millimeters on this however I put mine on and because I was using two screws it actually made it rise a little bit higher however whenever we run the g-code you will see that the nozzle hits that goes and it hits this just fine and it does its wipe routine before starting a print now I am using ABS and normally I do an ABS slurry on the bed I don't have that so my purge function may not work may not stick to the bed however my start g-code currently the nozzle homes, it wipes, it goes over, it homes again, it starts a purge line, and then it starts the print. So we will get onto that here in a minute. I'll show you the nozzle, which I've tried to make as dirty as possible. Hopefully, it doesn't stick to the bed whenever we home. So that way, you can actually see this in action, grabbing the molten plastic and holding on to it. And we'll be back here in a minute. Alright, now you can see the nozzle. I've tried to get a little bit dirty with some ABS plastic. And I got it all heated up now. Now, I'll pro probably uh, cat over there messing with my tools. Now, I'll probably put the uh, start G code up on the screen. Probably around now and so that way you can see it's pretty self-explanatory it has notes on it telling how everything works and it'll also be in the description so that way you can get it from there and it'll be on my thingiverse page for this so with that said we will get set up to actually run the print and we'll see how it does on cleaning the nozzle. Alright, now we are going to start a print. And there she goes, she's homing. And hopefully she won't leave all that. ABS on the bed and we can actually see the nozzle in action. Alright, we have contact. And she's up and she's left some on the bed and there she goes. And there she goes. And she lifts up. She goes over. She goes back to home, she homes, and then she goes and attempts a purge line, and then she starts printing. So that's what she's doing right now. And she raises up and goes to start the print. What's up? Now I'm just going to cut this off we'll raise that up 
and we will take a look at the actual nozzle wiper. Alright, now as you can see, there's a little bit of plastic on there from where it grabbed it off of the tip of the nozzle. Now, it doesn't clean the whole nozzle, it just cleans around the tip of it, so that way if you have a fan duct on it or something, it won't interfere too bad with that. But, as you can see, we got a piece of plastic on there. Focus. Yeah. And it grabbed that off of the nozzle. So it's not going to clean your whole nozzle, but it will hopefully clean off the tip of the nozzle.